decisions are the hardest thing to make, especially when it is a choice between where you should be and where you want to be. Making decisions about the use of limited resources can be challenging. Sometimes it is necessary to consider needs over wants. Sometimes you need to make decisions that are best for you and not for everybody else. It is important for you to make the best decisions for your particular situation given the information you have available at the time. Let's take a look at a simple six-step decision-making process that can help you make better informed decisions. This process uses the acronym DECIDE to walk us through the steps. The first step of the decision-making process is define your goal. You need to determine what you want to achieve. In this example, Joey wants to buy a gift for a three-year-old he babysits. The second step is establish your criteria. Which features do you really need or would just like to have? In the birthday gift example, Joey decided that he wanted a gift that provided creative play opportunity, safety, durability, and was low cost. The third step is choose good options. Choose options that meet your criteria. Joey identified several acceptable options for the birthday gift. The fourth step is identifying the pros and cons. This is done by determining how well each option meets your criteria. Using a decision-making grid can help with this process. Here we see the completed decision-making grid for the birthday gift scenario. The grid helps us identify, organize, and compare criteria information for each item. The fifth step is deciding the most logical option for your situation. Here we see how Joey ranked the birthday gift options. The final step is evaluate the results. After making your decision, think about what you liked and didn't like about the choice you made, so you can consider that information next time you make a similar decision. Let's review the six-step decision-making process using the acronym DECIDE. Define your goal. Establish your criteria. Choose good options. Identify the pros and cons. Decide the most logical option for your situation and evaluate the results. We challenge you to use this decision-making model in the next week. Use the decision-making grid to list your criteria and options and to organize information so you can compare the pros and cons of each option. Share with others how the process worked for you. Describe how the decision-making model and grid was helpful or not helpful as you made your decision. Given the time you spent thinking through the decision to be made, the criteria and alternatives, are you more or less satisfied with your final decision? Why or why not? Good luck as you develop your consumer decision-making skills. Created using Powtoon.